Hello everyone, my name is Elle and welcome to my channel. Today I have a brand new tag to share with you guys. This is called Secret Loves and it's all about limited edition and discontinued products. Those sh secret things that we sometimes don't talk about as often as we should. So I am collabing on this with my dear friend Heather from Love Heatherette. She was the first person to come to mind when I thought about bringing this tag to life because she's always talking about her limited edition and discontinued products and I figured she would love talking about them a little bit more. If you guys want to do this, please, please do. I will have a list of the questions in my description box down below, so just copy and paste. More about that later, but for now, now there are eight questions, so let's dive right in. So the first question is actually a very simple. Your favorite limited edition or discontinued product? And I do have a little note in brackets about something that you purchased, owned, tried. I think it's a little bit different to talk about something that you have never used. Uh, just my personal opinion, do what you want. These tag videos, are you're free to change them in whatever way but for me I wanted to talk about something that I really truly love and that has to be Urban Decay's Road Stripe eyeshadow. So this was part of Urban Decay's original collection like back when they first existed in the 90s and it's been in a couple of palettes since. I had it in the Vice LTD which is where I fell in love with it. It's also in the Vice LTD Reloaded and then they released like a little capsule collection that's like very limited edition of those original shades and Road Shape was one of them so I have one and a backup because I really love this shade. It's just the violet blue duo chrome that completely transforms eye looks. I love using it as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. It really is the 90s cool girl sort of highlight. It is my favorite eyeshadow, hands down. So of course this had to be my favorite. If you want to talk about more than one product, go for it. Fill your boots, as my mother would say, and just have fun with answering these questions. But I really just wanted to stick with one, my all-time favorite limited edition discontinued product because it's kind of been both. The second question is the opposite of the first one, your least favorite limited edition or discontinued product. So this was a little bit difficult for me because I don't tend to hang on to products that I really dislike, um, but one of the things that came to mind was this palette that I still have, and this is the Star Studded Palette from Kat Von D from a holiday collection from a few years ago. Um, it's incredibly lackluster, so I have a bit of a hard time holding it up because one of the shadows is broken. Um, I did depot a couple of shades, but these eyeshadows are so patchy. They're very sheer. They're just not Kat Von D quality. Um, this was one of my first introductions to Kat Von D eyeshadows, and it was just not great. Um, the other things I've tried from her collection have definitely been so, so much better, and I've been just so much happier with that the star studded is just so disappointing that it has to rank as one of my least favorites. The third question is, was there a collection that got away? So you could also talk about a specific item if there is an item that got away, but for me, there is a very, very specific collection that I always think of, and it's a really old collection, and I didn't realize it till I was looking it up to answer this question. It's from 2010. Wow, okay, so it's from MAC, and it's called To The Beach. And I thought the packaging was really, really cute, especially that little seahorse powder. Oh my God, I just wish they would bring that back because I'd buy it, I don't even care. I probably would never use it, it's just so beautiful. I would just wanna have it to collect and like put out on display. I love seahorses and I just thought that was so beautiful and it was sort of around at a time when I wasn't that into makeup. I do believe I saw it in person. I want to say that I was in the mall and I saw it and it was just one of those things that was like too expensive for me at the time and I just couldn't justify it and now I totally would. I absolutely would. So that that for me is the collection that got away. So the fourth question is what item or collection do you wish was permanent? So the very, very first thing I thought of was the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette. So this is another holiday set of eyeshadows from Kat Von D and this is one of the best things I own. I never want to pan it because I love it. It's perfect. It's got everything you could possibly need in here. It's got all of the colors. It's got your neutrals. 
like there's nothing wrong with this palette. I love all the shades in here. I can create so many versatile looks with it. I can do something very simple. I can do very something very dramatic and glam or something very editorial and like avant-garde. You can just do whatever you want with this palette and the quality is just perfect. Um, it's not too creamy. Like some eyeshadows can be like overly pigmented and then when you try and blend them out or blend them together everything gets really really messy because there's just too much pigment. Yes there is such a thing. Sometimes those things that you swatch that look gorgeous don't translate that well to the eye and sometimes shadows can be too stiff and too dry and they're not pigmented enough and you have a really hard time building up the color intensity. The, this formula is just perfect. I would love for it to come back. I kind of wish it would come back in a different format. I don't mind if it's this big. Like I, I get the whole thing with the color wheel, um, but I really wish I had a mirror with this. I love palettes with mirrors because I tend to do my makeup standing up. I have a big mirror, but I like to have something close up. And if I don't have another mirror, I tend to grab like another palette and sometimes I end up using that palette instead because it's like literally right in front of my face. So I wish this would come back with like slight packaging modification. Another eyeshadow palette came to mind because it was somewhat recently discontinued and that's the Urban Decay Electric palette. Um, it's got so many bright colorful pigments again like when I was thinking of the Mi Vida Loca and then the other set of colorful shadows that I really love are these because they're pressed pigments so they are super pigmented and this was sort of my first introduction to colorful eyeshadows and I was using all of these things with the exception of this silver which is really lackluster I replaced this with shell shock which is just a perfect silver eyeshadow from Urban Decay and this palette would be perfect and I wish it would come back and it would be permanent because I think it's great unless they're coming out with like an electric palette too maybe maybe I would forgive them for discontinuing this one if they came out with another palette of bright colorful pigments. There's also, so I do have a few things to talk about for things that I wish were permanent or like things that I wish I could get my hands on. Um, the Becca Rose Quartz Highlighter. I missed out on that. I almost bought it like three times and then just thought, no, I have too many. And by the time I sort of thought about it again, it was sold out. I went to store, they had a tester left, I swatched it and it was just the most beautiful pigmented pink toned highlight that was just on my skin tone, it just looked like it was made for it. Like it was just stunning. And I almost cried in the store because they were all out and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get it. And I've been like tweeting Becca, like, please, please, please let this come back. Just like a limited edition again, okay, fine. But let me get this because I really want that highlighter. And speaking of highlighter, I know there's things that I love here, guys. So the Anastasia Glow Kit, um, a lot of people don't like the glow kits anymore because they say they're too glittery. That's exactly why I love them. And this particular shade right here that has all this pan on it, Snow, I wish this was available as a full size permanent like single highlighter because it's my favorite highlighter. I love it more than Becca's Pearl um, because it is so glittery and so frosty and I just find it looks so metallic on my skin. I just I'm absolutely in love with it. So for question five, I have more of a discussion question and this is what do you think about items that are labeled limited edition but then come back so you know I've been kind of begging for Lebecca's Rose Quartz to come back even though it was limited edition and I've sort of been on the other side too like I remember the huge fuss over this guy the sweet peach palette where like the internet and all these makeup people went nuts including myself like I was up all night stalking Sephora's website waiting for it to be released I was so so excited because I wanted this palette so so badly and I was so happy when I got one and it was sort of like haha I was one of the successful ones like I stayed up late I wanted this really badly and I got it and then when it, they said they were going to restock and it was going to come back like it lost some of its specialness for me because I felt I really did feel sort of special that I, I got it. I wanted it, I made sure I got it, and now it was like, okay, now everybody's gonna get it, and now it's permanent, so now you can get it whenever. And I'm like, you know, it's not special anymore. So when things come back after being limited to limited edition, you feel sort of ripped off, especially when they tell you it's not coming back. I think of like, um, Jacqueline Hill's collab with Becca, Champagne Pop, and then she did Prosecco Pop, and I think um, those were said like, it's gonna be limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's never coming back. And then Champagne Pop came back in like another set, which I got that set. And then it came back again and again and again. And if they were made, they made it permanent. And then I think they did the same thing with Prosecco Pop. They made it permanent after telling people like, get it now, get backups because it's once it's gone, it's gone. And then like, oh, by the way, 
the demand was so high, we're bringing it back. It's like, you know, why, why would I have rushed to buy it if it was going to be there? It just seems like false advertising to me. And it really does annoy me a little bit. But at the same time, if I'm a person who didn't get something, like I'm one of those people harassing the brand, like, please bring it back, please bring it back. So, you know, I can kind of see both perspectives on it. So, there, you know, there's the good and the bad about something that was limited edition coming back either for a restock or permanently. The sixth question is what do you think about brands reusing shades? <laughs> so, I despise when brands reuse shades. Urban Decay is terrible for this. I have a few shadows that are repeated multiple times in limited edition palettes, but it's the exact same shadow. The exact same formula, the exact same name, it's just the same thing that they put in palette after palette. And I want something different. You know, every now and then I might get a duplicate of something that I really love, like in the case of Road Stripe, that was in two palettes, so I lucked out there because I like it. But for somebody who didn't like that shadow, that's a waste for them. Like, come on guys, come up with something new. Don't put the same old thing in every palette or, or like just change the name, because we're not dumb. You know, we can compare swatches and we're gonna realize, hey, this is the same product with a different name. Like, don't do that to us. Um, I do like when brands respond to their consumers' love for a specific shade and they release it as singles, because Urban Decay did do that with a few of their shades. Um, Anastasia did that as well. I know there's a couple of shades from the Modern Renaissance palette that are being released as singles or have already been released as singles. I like when brands do that because it's like, hey, we heard you, here's this single that you really liked. Um, but it's not like, oh, okay, you know, Modern Renaissance 2 is going to have, you know, Love Letter in it again or something like that. It's because it just gets so repetitive for people who want to have them all. And it just seems like such a waste because not a lot of people are going to use all of them. So many people are just going to have it sit. The seventh question is, what do you think about holiday collections? So I love holiday collections in general. You get a little bit of everything. You get some of the best and some of the worst. Some of my favorite products and some of the things I've already talked about like the Mi Vida Loco palette and the Anastasia Glow Kit, those things were all holiday releases. But then the Star Studded palette was a holiday release that was a fail. Some things are really good and some things are really bad. I also don't get the timing of holiday releases. Like they're releasing them earlier and earlier every year. I remember when it used to be around October-ish, which was still somewhat early for me, but reasonable because, okay, you know, you're thinking middle to end of December, Christmas time, there's other holidays as well. You know, November, okay, it gives you a little bit of leeway to like figure what you want. And now it's been like September, August, July. Like you, can you really call it a holiday collection if you're releasing it in July? Like I suppose if it's for like Labor Day, but I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I would love to see collections being released between like October and even early December, like those, like the smaller sets of things, the things that you don't really have to save for. But then a lot of times these things are discontinued or limited edition anyway, with like little to no restocks. So if you don't get it when it comes out, you're not getting it. And if you were planning ahead to be like, okay, I want this for Christmas, like is your mother or partner or friend or whatever gonna buy you something in August? Like, I know most of the people I know, like, they're budgeting for, you know, October-ish, November-ish to buy stuff. They're not going to be buying stuff that early. So that's just, like, a personal, personal thought about that. I just wish that they were pushed a little bit. But I do get really excited reading about it. Like, I am a makeup junkie. I'm on trend mood, trend mood. I'm on Reddit on makeup addiction. I'm Googling things like holiday 2018 or 17 or whatever year this is. Like, what is coming up. I'm like making lists already. I like to make a list first so as soon as I see everything and then sort of think about it from there. Because I like when they give you those sneak peeks early as opposed to just being like, bam, it's released, go. And you're like, what? I don't have time to think about this. Do I want this? Do I not want this? I like to be able to plan a little bit, but then you're having like sneak peeks in like June. I'm expecting some more holiday sneak peeks coming out like within the next couple of weeks, honestly, where it's going to be like, this is what's coming out in August for our holidays. And it's too much. It's too much, but it excites me. As a makeup junkie, as a real, like, lover of makeup, it does excite me. I, it's like celebrity gossip, TMZ, you know, it really is exciting to me about what's coming out now, what I can get. And I've lucked out sometimes, like, uh, with this Tarte blush palette. This was a holiday thing I got last year with all these blushes, and this is one of my favorite possessions. I love this so much because it's got such a range of blushes. The Tarte blush formula is fantastic. 
you know, I just tend to avoid stuff like Too Faced. I don't generally like Too Faced. Like I like some stuff like their eyeshadows sometimes. The general consensus for me is that there are good and there are bad when it's ho holiday collections and I just really get excited. Like it really is Christmas day for me from August through December because I love the new things that come out and even just looking at them and seeing what brands are coming up with. And the last question is a really fun one. It is what would be your dream limited edition collection? So for me this should be pretty easy to guess. Um, if you've watched my videos before at all, you would probably know something that I would want to buy every piece of if it was available as a collection. And it would be a Fleetwood Mac collection. I am dying for one. I want one so badly. I have this vision of a Mac collection based on Fleetwood Mac. Oh, it just... I want that to happen. I, like, I, I need to like work my way up the rank somehow into Mac and like make that happen. It's just an ultimate dream of mine. I have been thinking and planning out a times 15 palette because that would be like the holy grail for me of a limited edition collection. The times 15 of Fleetwood Mac, Mac, Fleetwood Mac Cosmetics. I know it's so perfect. Like it's made to be. And I, I just think of those 15 eyeshadows. I've got, I would have it like inspired by um, Rumors and the Rumors album, especially. Like how good would a matte color be? Like that's the color of that album. Like the sort of uh, mustardy cream sort of shade, like a matte shade like that. Oh, it'd be so good. Like I really want a bright sunshine yellow in a frost finish. And it would totally have to be called Don't Stop because that's such a sunshiny song and it would have to be called Don't Stop. Like I've actually got a whole list of, of like descriptions. Um, Silver Springs is a song that was supposed to be on Rumors so I would totally include that. It would have to be a blue-green duochrome eyeshadow because of the line blue-green colors flashing. Like it just has to happen guys. I'm really like super intense about this because I want it so badly. Like I would have a really good neutral transition color as the chain because it's the chain that would bring the eyeshadows together. Guys, come on, come on, make this happen for me. I don't even know how that would ever happen, but I'm hoping I can just keep putting those thoughts out into the universe. I know Stevie Nicks uses Mac, so it's like, come on, come on guys, make this happen for me. People would buy it. People love Stevie. They would totally buy a Fleetwood Mac inspired collection. They would. It's not just me. But anyway, this is a huge dream of mine and I really had to throw that question in there because I really wanted to talk about my Fleetwood Mac Mac collaboration dream. All right, so anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. This was a lot of fun to do. I had a lot of fun coming up with these questions and talking with Heather about our limited edition loves and I'm really excited to see her video. So I will have her channel linked down below. So please go and check her out. I'm sure she's gonna have a lot of fun stuff to talk about. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good video. Um, I'm, I'm just, Really excited, can't you tell? Um, so if you would like to do this tag, please, please do. And please let me know that you did it. If you wanna do it on Instagram, on YouTube, on your blog, wherever, do it. And then let me know, tag me on Instagram at shadowsmoked or just hit me up with a message or an email or anything. Just let me know if you're doing it or if you just wanna respond in the comments, what your thoughts are on limited edition and discontinued products. What's your favorite things? Let me know as well. I really wanna share this. So I will have a few people specifically mentioned and tagged in my description box, but please don't take it personally. If you are not listed there, please do this anyway. I'd really love to see your guys' responses. All right, that's all I have to say. Um, I know this is really ravey and gushy, but it's fun to talk about things that you love. And limited edition products and things that have been discontinued, we should use proudly and we should always talk about and we should not have to be secretive about them. All right, so once again, thank you guys so much and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye for now.